Do I need to share the uh, my screen on the right or? Nope. Uh, I'm you're, doing you're, you're doing your screen. Okay. Yeah, it'll, we're, we're going to record my screen. So here's what's happening. We're in Harbor Point. Right from the get-go, we're a new experience. We're going to go to tasks expiring. Our situation here is that we have a special letter that we've put into the fourth renewal letter for our uh, August renewals. So standard renewals would get an offer generated, sent to them. The first reminder says, please renew within the next X number of days. The second reminder normally says, thank you for renewing your lease. Uh, and in this case, our fourth reminder says uh, something to the effect of August renewals are offered a special lease renewal condition. Here are those conditions. So in our case for August, we want to generate the renewal, send it, and then immediately send the special because we want the people who are renewing in August to know that they're getting a special offer. So we don't need to send them a reminder yet, and we certainly don't need to send them a thank you for renewing letter, but we do want to immediately send them this fourth slot, specifically only for August people. So I'm gonna start by changing my lease end dates to August 1st to August 31st. This is my full list. And at this particular property, we know there's a few floor plans that we don't want to include. Anything that begins with X, we don't want. So there's only one person in this case. That's great. Looking at our list, we can see we've already got one offer generated and sent for all these people, which is perfect. Um, and you know what? I'm going to just view all of them at once, one through 156 on one screen. See, this is obviously a huge number of renewals for one month. Uh, we're going to scroll through. We can see a lot of check marks, which is really good. All these offers are generated and sent fully down the whole list. Just doing a quick check to make sure we got 100%, and we did. So all of these people have their one offer and their offer sent, which is great. We can even see a couple people already selected their offers. We want to send renewal reminder four to these folks. Not one, not two. We want to skip right to four. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check off everybody, got all 156. I'm going to get rid of this X floor plan because we don't want to send one to Graciela. And now I'm going to do an offer letter slash reminder. I'm going to select renewal reminder four. I don't really know what the template thing is, but it only ever gives us one option. So I'm going to let it do its thing. It looks like it's loading. Renewal Reminder 4, that's fine, perfect. I want to include all the guarantors and I want to email these reminders to these people. I'm going to hit save. And my expectation is that I would get check marks in my fourth column. I haven't gotten any check marks in my fourth column. Um, I would say maybe there's 156 of them, so it's going to take some time. However, before doing this recording, we've already tried this several times over the course of the last two hours and we've never seen a fourth row check mark here. So we're left to wonder, are these people receiving the letter that we are trying to email to them? So while wondering that, I will pop open a few of these people in some new tabs. You know, I'll just pop open this four of them. And I'm gonna go to their letters and notices and just see if I can see the letter and notice that I just generated in their thing. Okay, so there's several here, but strangely, 407, right now, my clock says 532. So I don't think this is the one that I just generated. Um, this is something that we noticed while we were working in our list and not getting any check marks, is that um, some people seem to have letters and notices with Renewal Reminder 4, and other people do not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through a few other people and just try to see if there's any indication of people who didn't receive them, who maybe don't have. So we have Renewal Reminder 4. Question is, again, brought up here, like, why does this person only have one, whereas this person has five? It all happened at 407. This one's also 407, but why is it only one? Kind of confusing, tough to know what's going on here. 
So I'm going to look at another account here just to see what kind of patterns we can discern. All right, so we have another one that's got several. One of them didn't get sent for some reason. Another kind of mind boggler there. Go to another here. Some notices. And this one only received one renewal reminder for, and that was before this renewal reminder one. So like, where's the one that I just did at 530-ish? I don't see anything there. Um, not super confident in what we're working with here, but I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna just pick a few more people that are like further down the list. I'm gonna choose some of these folks. And again, we're just gonna pop open their accounts. We're gonna go into their letters and notices and see. Okay, here's a great example. This is exactly what we were digging for. This person has no indication of a renewal reminder for on their list, even though we know just now during this recording, we sent one. And as we were able to see in a lot of the other ones, we sent it out several times earlier. And that account makes no indication of it happening. So these screens are not loading. Kind of another little quirk that maybe the people at RealPage want to see. Um, we've had three of these not load for some reason, but this is kind of what we were looking for here. Did this person receive renewal reminder four? I'm left to think they did not, but I have no reason to understand why this account would be treated any differently from the accounts that we were reviewing earlier. Uh, I hope that makes sense to the people who are watching this. I'm going to pick a couple more just to see. So this is another one that was in our list of renewals. Gonna go to letters and notices. So this is another one in here. I don't see any indication that renewal reminder four was sent to the, these folks, right? I sort by the date. The newest one I have is from two days ago. That's not even today's date. So what happened to all the renewal reminders that I sent to them today? I do not know. Let's just give this a shot while we're here. This is 020401 unit. 020401, that's this one. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check off only this person. Scroll all the way back up. And I'm going to do this singularly just to see what happens. Again, we're testing, we're prodding. I don't really know what's happening here. And uh, Tom, I'm more talking to the people who we're recording this for and less talking to you. So I'm kind of just like going yes. and going and describing here. Um, no, I, I, I got that a while ago. So I am checking off everything as I normally would. I got all my stuff here. I'm going to hit save. Remember, I only checked off one person for this, and that person was 020401. So here's our letters and notices. I'm just going to click out and click back in and see again if there's any indication see i have nothing here where's my renewal reminder for i just did it individually for this person and there's no indication that it went out um i'm gonna check people and see if maybe they're opted out of email and see if maybe no, that's I, a thing here I, they're not these people are opted I went through in. every one of these when I sent out the original reminder. That's a tremendous amount of work, and I appreciate how long that must have taken you to go through every single one, one by one. So we know that this household is signed up for email notifications. We know that I went through and sent the notification in bulk to everyone that had a an August renewal date. I also singled out this one in particular, and it still seems as though they're not receiving this notice. And I, it makes me nervous that my people aren't getting their notifications because without these notifications, these people won't be able to know what's going on with their, their leases. And we need these notifications to go out. So I, all this 10 minute, 11 minute recording is to say, we need a better understanding of what's going on here. I think I was able to show that we took all of the normal steps and that different residents are having different outcomes and i don't know why that would be um 
whoever's watching this, listen to this. Back, okay. I I appreciate Hi. your time in Hi. in checking this out with me. I think I'm hoping I was thorough enough. Uh, but please let me know what you think in the support ticket that I'm going to create. I'll probably make a YouTube video out of this recording so that you can watch it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop the recording. I think that's as good as we're going to get for this one.